What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and I'm going to show you a really great device for your home theater setup. Now if you have a HD TV that has only one or two HDMI inputs or even a bad HDMI input and you're trying to connect three HDMI devices to your TV, you're going to need one of these devices. It's called the HDMI switch. It supports ARC, which is audio return channel, PIP, which is picture in a picture, 4K pass through and 3D pass through. And it's cool about this device is that only thing you have to do is plug all three of your HDMI devices to this device and it would switch and toggle to any device that you want to show up on your TV or your HD monitor. And using the remote, it makes things a whole lot easier. So we've got an HDMI 1 input, HDMI 2, HDMI 3 input, and a HDMI output to your TV. And right here we have the power port. You need a 5 volt adapter that it comes with. And here's your HDMI switch button. You can switch from 1, 2, and 3 input. And here's your ARC audio return channel button. And there's your LEDs to let you know that the device is powered on. The ARC is active, HDMI 1, HDMI 2, and HDMI 3 selector and also your output so it there's a status like leds all up here and uh, infrared sensor is right here on this side you have your headphone output and your optical out to your surround sound on the bottom right here you have the ability to mount it and you have padded feet as well all right so let's go ahead and set this thing up all right so i got my amazon fire stick i'm going to plug that into hdmi one I got my PlayStation 3, I'll plug that into HDMI 2, and I got my Chromecast, I'm going to plug that into HDMI 3, right here, and my output, this is going to HDMI 1 input on my TV, and it's a 5 volt power source, and you connect your headphones or connect this to your surround sound unit. And here's the IR sensor right here. So make sure you put it somewhere where you can use the remote. So if you're hooking up a PlayStation 4, PlayStation um, 3, and a cable box, well, the auto feature will work better in that case because as soon as you turn on your cable box, it's going to detect that signal and it should automatically switch to that signal. But since the Fire Stick and the Chromecast is always sending a signal to this device, the auto feature it basically is going to cancel out the auto feature and you're going to have to manually select it. All right, so the TV's on. Let's try something. Uh, we're going to try HDMI 1. So let's select HDMI 1 and see right there, that's my fire stick. Looks like it's pretty much no delay, as you can see. See how fast it responds? And you can hear the clicks. So that is good. Let's go to HDMI 3. And that is the Chromecast, which is working right now. And let's go ahead and uh, select uh, the PlayStation 3. I'm going to turn on the PlayStation 3. I have the HDMI control feature on the H uh, PlayStation 3 and the HDMI control feature turned on to the TV. So when you turn on the PlayStation 3, it should toggle the PlayStation 3 input to the TV. But it may not happen because I have the Chromecast and the Fire Stick with those features as well, sending a signal to the switch, confusing the, the switch. So it looks like I'm going to have to manually hit the HDMI 2 button. And then that's working fine as well. All right, so let's go ahead and try the picture in a picture button right here and check that out. It's actually a picture and a picture in a picture. So look at that. That is the Fire Stick signal and this is the PlayStation 3 signal and then the Chromecast is right here on the screen. So let's see if we can actually rotate those and by hitting select. So we're going to hit the select button right here and that should now be look that's the fire tv stick 
That's the PlayStation 3, and that is the Chromecast, I believe. Yeah, that's the Chromecast. And then hit select again. And that's gonna rotate. And now I should look, PlayStation 3 is now on the screen. This is great, especially if you have like video surveillance system and if you want to watch live sports on your cable box, you can do everything all on your TV. That is crazy good. So if you guys are interested in this product, check out the links in the video description below. They have a five input um, HDMI input device and a three HDMI input device, which I just showed you today. So guys, if you know anyone that wants to expand their HDMI inputs on their home theater setup or has a bad HDMI input on their TV that wants more HDMI devices connected to their TV, click on the share button below and share this video to them. If you found this video informative, give me a big thumbs up. And if you want to subscribe to Tampa Tech for more how-to videos coming your way, click on this link right here. And if you want to check out some of my other videos, click on this link right here. Thanks for watching.